My name is Sharon Mackay. I am a young adult writer. I'm also a war artist, a Canadian war artist. Uh, they don't ask what your political feelings are. They don't say, are you going to say something negative? They don't say any of that. Or, nor do they say, oh, at the end of the day, can we look at what you've done? No. So I was allowed to and have done. I've done magazine articles, a um, couple of them. I do a lot of presentations on what war artists are. The hope here is to seek out another point of view, another perception, and that uh, through art, whatever that art may be, um, the public would see uh, another point of view of what's happening. These are two Afghanistan girls. And remember, all of my material is being fact-checked by the military. I have a whole crew of Afghans who themselves are reading this book, Muslims. Um, so I have a lot of people <laughs> around me. If you're not careful, a book like this could end up being written by committee. And that's one of the, that's one of the balances you have to be really careful about. Um, so the military, when it comes to the population in Afghanistan, they have some very strict rules. We are invited guests into that country. We're not a conquering army. So it's not like a little girl can come to the gates of a FOB, a forward operation base, which is out near the general public, and a girl can't knock on the door and say, I'm about to be murdered, can I come in? There's nothing they can do. They are not there to abduct children. And the perception would be from Afghan society that that would be an abduction. You know, I have given um, lectures uh, and workshops on the difference about writing for young adults, particularly historical fiction. One of the, the girls who is, we will find out later who she in fact is. Uh, she's got a secret that she is revealed to her as well. Um, her parents, um, anybody who's hurt over there, any civilian, Afghan civilians, who are harmed in any way by the war, whether it is the Taliban that has harmed them or whether it is collateral damage, doesn't matter if they will be taken in and treated. So what happens is this girl loses her parents into a forward operation base, which is... A, uh, a, a fort to her it's a fort so the only way she can get to her parents is to actually storm the gates um, however she realizes while they will take her and keep her safe uh, the one person she loves the most in the world would not get that um, same security so she makes a choice of either staying with her parents or going back out with some medication that she has stolen and, and help her friend. Um, she has a plan, and that plan falls apart. Afghans don't see us as saviors. They do see us as um, intruders. Many of them do. Many of them um, see us as perhaps benign in, in a way, but whenever we show up, somebody gets killed, and it's usually them. So I let one of these girls voice that. She would be able to say, well, you know, I don't want to go near them. They hurt us. You know, and, and one of them, no, they don't. They're taking care of my parents. So you would have these two girls arguing from their own points of view. Go back to that. And you have a little girl's point of view about these foreigners. Why are they here? If they want to help us, why don't they help us from their own country? We're getting hurt. So I can allow her to actually voice all of those concerns and I can have the other girl counter her. I've done 30 books, I think, in total. A lot of them are nonfiction, some adult fiction. Um, been in this business a long time. But the, the recent young adults would be Charlie Wilcox and Charlie Wilcox's Great War. Uh, they're primarily World War I. Uh, War Brothers is perhaps the most recent um, and that's African and it's about child soldiers so you can see that writing out, out of my culture is something that I do I also believe passionately in it that uh, I, I believe in you know walk a mile in my shoes but you do it with great respect trepidation and, you, and a whole whack of fear <laughs>